Hello, hello, and welcome. I'm Ryan, and this is XCOM. Last week, we left off with a UFO still in the air, so... Oh. Yeah, I'll take that deal. Uh, so I'm not going to jump right into the mission immediately, because I want to see what this fighter does, uh, rather than just kind of have it happen in the background. Whoops, I did it again. Uh, we did a fair bit of damage to it, so it should be uh, just dicking off. I don't really want to run the clock because I don't want to overshoot the alien abductions. Uh, so we're just going to look at it for a second. <sighs> so how y'all doing this week? Feels like spring is actually finally starting up here for me. I uh, was actually able to get out in the backyard, do some work in the garden the other day. Don't know if I'll actually be planting anything. Uh, we've got uh, stands out there for tomatoes, beans, and stuff to crawl up on, so it would be kind of nice. <sighs> At the moment, I'm pretty broke, though, so it's not like I can go out and buy any supplies. Alright, fighter, what are you doing? Make up your mind. Contact detected. Well, I think time will keep ticking while we just go around, so... Might as well touch on a couple other things around the base. Uh, in engineering, I have a shiv in production that I'm not sure if I'm going to allow to actually complete. Uh, we are kind of broke right now. I could use 60 bucks. And honestly, a baseline shiv is not that great. I appreciate and your efforts to support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. No problem. I'm pretty sure all we need is improved body armor now, and we can get alloy shivs, I think. We might need experimental warfare. I'm not sure. But an alloy shiv is way better than a regular shiv. A lot more health, uh, intrinsic damage reduction can be used as a cover point. It's a really great unit. So I might be canceling that. Um, I was kind of waiting for it to come out of production, then I was going to name it like Yoderbot or something like that. Uh, but honestly, like, it's kind of a shitty tribute. Like, a baseline shiv is not that great. Um, especially with, I mean, with the certain upgrades, they can be pretty good because you can get pretty interesting perks on them but we don't have any of that stuff. Um, we can give it some bonus ammo, you know. Um, I think they can suppress by default. I don't think you need a, a thing for that. I'm not sure. All right, I'm just gonna skip a little bit. Oh, shit, no, stop, ah! Thermo generator. <laughs> That's terrifying. Thermo generator online. The mission didn't. Okay, good. Whew. Uh, and actually, a bunch of soldiers just came back on duty, so that's pretty good because I haven't set up the uh, squad yet. But anyway, we've got no money, but our thermo is back on is now online, so we can get going with more labs and stuff once we have the funds, which won't be for a while because once we get the funds, uh, it's going into laser rifles. Because uh, we got beam lasers coming up in just five days, a scant week. Uh, in the meantime, though, let's make that money. <coughs> Alright, I'll probably be fast-forwarding through this, uh, through the magic of editing. Uh, if I can figure out how that works. If not, I might as well talk about my process in the meantime, just in case. So, for a mission like this, it's a light, several buildings in a large combat zone. Uh, it's going to be a mission where I'm pretty much just... I want uh, somebody who can mitigate Overwatch, uh, either a scout or a gunner, and then somebody who can provide uh, like decent support for a team of rookies, because I still want to train up more rookies. Uh, the roster is looking pretty bad at this point, honestly. I don't know. Um, uh, maybe not terrible. We have a lot of people with a couple promotions, but we still have a lot of rookies, and we're running out of time to train them up, honestly. Uh, yeah. Now, in terms of people who can mitigate Overwatch, we have... Uh, two gunners in the sick bay so no that's not happening and i don't want to take kelly on a milk run uh because he's the the highest level troop we have right now he's a pretty useful soldier 
Uh, although all he really brings to the table is utility. You know, he can run. He can run uh, Overwatch. He comes with his own battle scanner, and he can hollow target for people, which actually makes him a pretty good unit to babysit rookies. Honestly. Yeah, like his utility. Like if he was if he was like a corporal assault or something, I wouldn't bring him here. But really, his kit is just about. It's kind of a support kit. So yeah, actually, I will bring Kelly on this. Huh. Funny how that works out. Um, and then it's probably going to be Slappy and a bunch of engineers, because I really want to level up Slappy as well. Uh, and he's getting close-ish. Uh, 150. Maybe. What are our other candidates? Snipers are back online. We have an engineer. Ooh, it's really good to level up NGs. Ah, uh, you're even farther than Slappy, though. Although, if we take you now, then there's another engineer up in two days for the next mission. Uh, as well as a candidate if we really need one. We have a lot of TAC candidates. Hmm. See, this is why I want to train up more rookies, so that, like, these decisions are easier to make. Like, I don't have to think, like, okay, well, what is not in rotation uh, if I bring these people, you know? Um, there's going to be three or four rookies. Shankar's up in less than a day, so... Yeah, let's bring Slappy. Well, yeah, let's bring Slappy. Or do we bring a baby medic? Do we bring a baby medic? No, let's bring Slappy. Well, no, it's, it's light abduction, though. Like, what if something scarier comes up in a day or two? You know? Although Slappy isn't actually at, you know, he just has Revive now. It's the next level when he gets uh, his bonus smokes, I think, that he becomes, like, really useful. Yeah, let's bring Slappy. Uh, and we will bring... Another rookie? A gunner would be great. If I had a gunner candidate here, that would be really great. We got a lot of tacks. Let's roll the dice. What is it, one in eight? <laughs> All right, never mind, never mind, never mind. Um, although, several buildings, baby engineer to uh, just huck a bunch of grenades around to blow up cover. All right. It'll be good to level up more engineers, because there's a lot of flexibility with engineers. You can either go with, you know, like a straight offensive uh, sapper. Uh, what's the other one? Like sapper, bombard, stuff like that. Uh, and then there's more of a support build where you get, what is it, Packmaster, which gives you more bonus support grenades and stuff like that. Uh, and then you can go kind of like a hybrid uh, with uh, repair, which is really useful for captures, uh, oddly enough. Oh, why are you all out of uniform? Alright, so, uh, so we've got smoke here, 
I might go I might go with scope rookies again, honestly, because we don't need too many grenades on them because we have four uh, cover destroying grenades on. Wow, uh, Gianna here. Uh, so yeah, I think I'm gonna go with scope rookies again. Wait, where are where are all my scopes? Yeah, there they are. Scope scanner, I guess. If I wanted to go, like, just... I could just give them, uh, like, full passive, just scope and ceramic. But honestly, at this stage in the game, like... I don't know, like, what are they gonna get hit by that's gonna, like, save them with one health, you know? Like, a big crit is just gonna kill them. Uh, so, yeah, screw it. We'll just give them a bunch of support stuff. Let's see, I got a flash, I got smoke, I got smoke, I got scanner, I got grenades. And I guess another flash. Although it is harder to use flashes than it is smokes, you know? But, eh, we'll go with it. Er, you know what? We don't want to have, like, one point of failure on grenades. Alright, let's go. Strike one. Prepare for landing. Alright, let's see what we can do. Between hollow targeting and those scopes... The drop site for this operation will be in Canada. The aliens are continuing to target civilians for abduction in several major cities across the globe. We have to get down there and deploy as soon as possible. Is this the is this the meat market and then the cooler room and then the little alleyway and the warehouse? Is this that map? Oh god damn it. This fucking map. Um, anyway, as I was saying, between hollow targeting and uh, the scopes on the rookies, we can expect some pretty good performance from their basic shooting. Central, this is Big Sky. Strike team is touching down now. Stay yeah, that's the orders. fucking Roger, market. Big Sky. Reading you five by five. Strike one has the green light for deployment. Uh, I'm never really sure how to go on this map. If you remember, this is uh, a map where we saw one of my first lapses in, I don't know, command ability when I ran. Uh, I forget who it was, like, directly through Overwatch over here. Um, might have been Elcom. Was it Elcom? I feel like he was on that mission, but it wasn't Elcom himself. Uh, so, what we'll probably do, there's roof access inside the building here, so we'll probably, we already see down this alleyway and are not threatened here so we'll probably peek out the other alleyway uh you know use the doors over here just say hey anything going on if anything is not going on we head up to the roof and then work on breaching that building over there i'm kind of only like this mission you see it on uh bomb missions a lot aye aye commander eyes on target okay They got me flanked! Well, that's no good. Uh, if I put you inside, I think one could run in the door and get pretty nasty. Uh, that door could be useful for us, but, uh, I think I'm gonna put you... Good to go. ...out of sight over here. Um, it could be nice to get uh, our grenadier up on the roof. It's a little scary to run up there blind, though. So here's what we'll do. Watch the corner. Gianni, tuck in behind. Affirmative, moving out. 
Next turn we can move up, get the drop. Uh, now, everyone else is in kind of a weird position here. Uh, just standing out in the open, not much good cover in sight. I could kind of stack up on this and hunker everybody down, I guess. We don't need to worry about grenades or acid or anything, it's just sectoids. Uh, scariest thing we gotta worry about is, I don't know, Psy Panic. Uh, oh, Slappy's still got a carbine, okay. If they were the ballsiest sectoids in the world, they could just run out in the open and try to flank us, but I don't think that's actually a concern. I don't think they'll do that. No need to ask twice. There's the grim specter of I don't think, so let's set up at least one overwatch. Okay. I'm on the move. Alright, where are you going? Scope rookie. Nope. Target More like Stella. nope rookie. Alright, that might be easy pickings for a shit. Uh, that blocks the, uh, that blocks our roof access now. Shit. That was a smart move, sectoids. Well, I think we have an easy flank for, uh, I mean, Kelly could take it, but I think it's better if we give it to one of the rookies. Uh, I don't know if she has the damage, though. Alright, big damage. Big crit, please. Mm, that was not a big juicy crit. And I'm hesitant to just huck a grenade there. There I go, hucking and dropping grenades. Why can't I ever just throw them? Because uh, I don't want to blow up that car. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I could run Kelly up and kill it really easily. I don't think... Mm. And then maybe smoke on them? I don't know. It's tricky. It's tricky. In maybe we don't need it if I get a lucky shot. Rosenthal gets a lucky shot, rather. <coughs> Excuse me. Still not feeling up to uh, speed here. Mm, this is terrible. That was a bad move. That was a very bad move. I should have just let Kelly take care of it. Ooh, can I fire out through the window here? Although, that's just opening us up for the uh, sectoids to come through. Ooh, melt on the roof. That's, that's an easy pick if we can get moving. Okay. This would be the turn, like... If she hadn't panic, panicked there, just run our grenadier up, drop a uh, AT grenade right on that car, do a lot of damage, and then, you know, their cover is probably broken. We feel a lot more confident moving up and taking this guy out, uh, but that's not the case. Now, if I move Kelly up, do I think that those sectoids are willing to flank themselves to kill him? Or honestly, do I think that that guy is that dangerous? Because he's flanked. He's going to run. All he's going to do is run. So honestly... What if we just let him run? Heading out. 
Oh, Kelly has two battle scanners now. I didn't revise his uh, loadout. Shit, it's probably a mistake. Come on, run. That's affirmative. All right, here comes another, whatever you call that, mind meld. Slappy doing work. Dead and gone. Hmm. Nah, stay there. Alright, you need to get out of the way so that the Grenadier can move up. Oh, no, she's so far back. What am I talking about? Uh, I should have just kept her here because now they can start moving over the roof. Aye, aye, Commander. Alien object inside. Alright. No, not Slappy. You. Headed there now. Hey, how's your arm? Is it crazy good? I, I saw it. I saw it for a brief second. Damn it. You know, if I moved Slappy out of the way first, and she had a direct, you know, run to that thing rather than having to run around him, she might have been able to get, like, a tile further to get the grenade off. Ugh. Well... I'm gonna Overwatch get Hollow targeting out. There's heavy fire in this zone. Little half cover boy. Or just kill him. Okay. Alright, round two. All right, there we go. X-ray neutralized. Now we start making our way through the building, head up to the roof. Uh, Slappy, why don't you head up here? Heading there now. It's killing time. Next turn, we can grab now. that meld, maybe. I think she's in range. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, so we hear some more secto men and some uh, floaters out there. What? Just pick the one I need. Thank you. I'm on it, Commander. I think I can inch up a little bit. Okay, I think I can. Okay, cool. Uh, Stepping off. That's keep inching up this way. We're green to go. Open that door next turn. Uh, that ring's going to be a little distracting, but I don't think it's worth burning a health pack for uh, one damage. Honestly, until we get uh, carapace, Headed there now. Uh, health kits are not that useful. So maybe it is? I don't know. Aye, aye, Commander. Alright. Heading to that location. There's some more meld. Anybody home? No? Okay. Alright, 
Shut up. Alright, I have been pretty lax about collecting melds, so I think we're gonna get moving to try to get the next one. Uh, don't That's hit the corner just yet. Wow, you guys really need double moves just to take those corners there? Heading out. Let's make sure there's really nothing else in here. Okay, cool. You take that one. You take this one. Creep up a little more. Solid copy. Oh. Heading to that location. All right, next turn is where things might start popping off. If there's anything in this alleyway, we got grenades on the roof ready to expose them. And whoop, hello. All right, floaters, what? What the hell? What is that movement? <laughs> what? That was like a quadruple movement. What the fuck was that? I mean, he's dead. He's like super dead, but what was that? That was bullshit. On the move. What? Go home. X -ray Excuse me? So, then there's one here, and there's that one overwatching, yeah? That is what we saw, right? Let's expose this one if we can. Grenade out. What the hell was that? All right, didn't actually expose him. Did destroy our cover. Oh my god, what? What is that truck made out of? Excuse me. Moving out. Fawol is having a hell of a mission. No longer a threat. Oh, he's real upset Maybe about that. Unloading. Keep him Overwatch spooked. Alright, here comes the rest of the Secto kids. Negative Schaden. We're in position to get that meld next turn. I'm happy about that. Ten Weapons meld on this free. mission. Tasty, tasty. Who saw that? They're behind... Did, like, Rosenthal spot them through the door, maybe? Ooh. I want to be on that side, is the thing. Moving to well, position. we can grab it and then reposition, I guess. Got the goods. Alright, well, this is strange now. Uh, I can get smoke out up here, making this position pretty safe, and then they have to come out to us to do anything, you know? Uh, so we can set up an Overwatch trap. Alright, yeah, it was Overwatch, uh, Rosenthal that spotted them then. Uh, yep, let's do just that. Oh shit, no, you can't get into any decent into a position over here because I blew up that cover. You know, slappy moves for it, maybe. Moving to position. Yeah, Slappy, get out of the way, fall and back now. a bit. Yeah, there you go. Let your On other soldiers way. move. Hopefully he's not in danger here. He is further back than the rest of them. And, you know, anything that wants to shoot him has to go through a wall of overwatch to get there. Okay. 
Can we get a scanner inside the building? Scanning target area now. You can also just crack it open with a grenade next turn. Nice. Lost some more wall by the sounds of it. Alright, remember there's still one floater out there. He fell back last turn, but this turn he's probably going to become rushing back. So we can't see him, so he can't see us, so he doesn't know that we have all the Overwatch ready. Whoa, he got scared. Alright, coming around the back. Yep, here he comes. Get lit the fuck up. That was the engineer that took the kill, I believe. All right. Rosenthal, I need an entrance. There's a sectoid in there. I want to expose him. Did we not? Oh, there he is. Nice cover, doofus. Kelly can pick up the kill. You can pick up the kill. Nice. Now Kelly can start moving up to pressure those guys some more. Although, uh, there's no wall we can stick him behind or anything. I guess he can move up to the corner here. I'm rolling. Over here, yes. I don't know if they're going to come out in the open for us. I think we got to start moving to them. So way. let's do so. Smoke's going to run out soon anyway. So let's not stay there. I'm happy with how this mission is going. Very violent. Very fast. All right, Overwatch. This should be our last pod, I think. Hmm. What can we do? What can we do? How do we keep moving? Could have had somebody else open the door so that that would have screened some overwatch. That was maybe a mistake. We can see if we can just get some damage on him deep back there with the hollow targeting and the scopes, maybe. Forty percent. It's better than twenty percent. No way that just happened. Now you're actually in view of that guy there, which is a little problematic. If I run you across here, I don't think that triggers Overwatch, because he's got stairs in the way. Heading to that location. That looks like a combo. Get closer to the action. You're probably going to get hit with some kind of mental bullshit next turn. See what we can do here. Ooh, we can break his cover. Well, had to come to an end here. eventually. He's sitting out in the open now, so I don't think he's gonna fire back at us at the moment. On my way. 
CF Slap, you can't pick him off when he runs. Got the elevation bonus, got that carbine bonus. Don't got the damage though, that's the downside of the carbine. A little bit more. Rosenthal for the pickup. Scope rookies! Alright, just one sectoid left. Towering behind some meat. Uh, man, if we had that capture gear ready, this would be like an ideal situation. Because we've got, what, still two flashes on the team? We can just keep this guy pinned for days, whittle him down. But uh, let's just take him out. <laughs> Uh, we could just run it, but I think it's safer if we just flash him and then start getting everyone else in position. You know, it's only a, what, it's like plus 90 evasion or something from the lightning reflexes. Yeah, 90%. Still a 10% chance he gets hit, goes to the med bay, you know? If there's a 0% chance that he gets hit and goes to the med bay, that's a better move. Aye, aye, Commander. Move it up a little, reload. You're ready it's for next turn. Moving out. Try it, small man. Try running. Uh, Headed there now. Next turn, we can probably just blow up whatever cover he finds himself behind. Headed there now. He just stays there and hunkers down. We just blow up that slab of meat and he's dead. Alright. Predictable. So, who still needs a kill? Saxena, do you need a kill? I think you do. I'm on it, Commander. What? Is that blocking? Shit. Well, let's just get it done. Let another rookie take it. Ich mach mich los. All right. Commander, the operation was a success. Yeah, easy game, easy life. That was a fun mission. Just keep moving, you know, keep blowing shit up. I don't know what it is on that map, but all the walls are very crumbly. Old brickwork, I guess. I don't know. Impressive work, Commander. Our soldiers have to be feeling good after a mission like that. Yeah, Saxena did need a uh, did need a kill there. That's unfortunate. Uh, but we've got another uh, weapons candidate, so we've got another gunner on our squad. That's nice. Uh, she fucking loves to shoot. Um, <laughs> yeah, that was a fun mission. Nice. What do we get? Twelve meld. Nice. One alloy. One Illyrium. Bunch of weapon fragments. Nice corpses. You know, six sectoid corpses, that's, you know, maybe two more scientists. We will be in touch, nice. Commander. And 80 bucks. Cool. How are we looking? Our stocks here. Like, if I need to... Hmm, got a lot of corpses. If I need to scrounge up money for lasers in a week, uh, I could sell these computers and stuff, because we're going to get a lot more by the time we actually need them for research, I think. <sighs> yeah, because once we're done with beam lasers, we want to get uh, carapace, and we want to get uh, you know, what do we still need? We still need xeno-neurology. Uh, 
before we even start thinking about you know our other path so yeah it's gonna be a long time before we actually need that stuff and hopefully we'll be downing more uh, UFOs in the meantime unfortunately that fighter got away it would have been nice to actually get a mission out of it but at least it didn't take down any of our satellites that's that would have uh, been very bad for us uh, so it's gonna be a busy week we got another scope coming in alloy plating nice beam lasers coming up uh, shiv shiv hmm. see if anything comes up in the next six days I don't know uh, in the meantime anything to do really can't afford to build anything more right now because we need that money for our uh, lasers how are we on alloys 30 alloys that's not bad it's not terrible All right. officer training school thank god oh it's what a hundred bucks for squad size one officer training school online two hundred and we need three more total ranks for it all right right it's it's less if you're uh europe um europe gets a uh i don't know is it asia one of the other continents gets a, a, a discount on these. Oof, that's going to be expensive, but we need another mission before we even get there, though. So, yeah, I think we're definitely... Well, hold up, though. Week until council report. We're about to get funded, friends. Alright, cool. How's our hangar looking? All right, nothing show up for another week, please. Nice. There's our extra scope. All right. Commander, we're receiving several urgent requests for assistance. There are abductions in progress at each marked site on the Hologlobe. All right, next week we'll be heading out to China to deal with this abduction. We've got... Woo! A lot of people coming out of medbay, so I've got my pick of the litter when it comes to who we want to bring on this team. It's probably going to be a lineup similar to the last one, uh, where we're going to be looking for, you know, a couple of people to babysit, and then uh, a couple rookies. You might be coming back, honestly, because a gunner is a very nice babysitter. But maybe not. We don't want to keep putting our, you know, we're strapped for gunners right now, and we already have Oh, actually, you're only out in just another day. Uh, we might actually delay this mission uh, for 23 hours. I think you can do that uh, for Fraser to come back. And then we have a gunner to help babysit our rookies. Although, I don't know, last time we had a lot of fun without one, just blowing up walls and moving. Uh, but that's to be decided for next week. Uh, for this week, a uh, bit of an unorthodox start to that. Sorry if that was a little boring, but a uh, pretty exciting mission, honestly. Very fun to play. I hope it was fun to watch. Uh, as usual, uh, you can hit me up on Twitter. Uh, my name there is the same as it is here, Airpy. Uh, if you've got anything to say, you can let me know on Twitter. Let me know in the comments. And as always, I hope you have a good weekend. Take it easy. I suppose I hope you've had a good weekend since I put these out on Sunday. I hope you have a good week. Take it easy. never going to get to beam lasers. Xeno's Paradox. There's an infinite number of alien abductions between any point and beam lasers.